Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Play. We're going to be playing the PS1 version of Harry Potter and the Secret Chamber Fire of Azkaban. People, my god, people have been loving my Harry Potter Let's Plays, and uh, I'm not going to be doing any of the later games just yet, if, if ever. Because, well, for one thing, they're really hard to get a hold of. Um, and also, I've heard they're not very good. Some of them, yeah, they're okay, others not so much. But this one... I am actually curious to see how different this is to the PS2. So, without further ado, with the flying Ford Angular, or Anglia, however the fuck you say that car's name, we're going to start Harry Potter and the secret goblet of the Sorcerer. I really hope this is actually working. I have not tested this. Uh, auto save. <clears throat> this will save your progress throughout the game automatically. Um, sure, why not? Actually, no, do I want that? Uh, yeah, fuck it. When you see this picture, your game is auto saving. Alrighty. Okay. So, yes, I've never played this version of the game. The memory card is full? Are you fucking shitting me? Dude, seriously? Oh, come on, I should have really fucked around with this. Ah, I can use save states, fuck it, it's fine. I must just remember to use them. So, here we go. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. You can say that again, Stephen Fry. Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Which is a stupid rule. One evening, towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. <laughs> Look at him! Harry oh my Potter god! Must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared. And shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to there rescue you go. Harry from his prison. There you go. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent to someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? About Great a million of them. Malfoy. Uh, did I even say that right then? Eventually, they landed at Ron's house. The Burrow. Yay, the Burrow! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, <laughs> I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Come on, Harry, I'm going to bed. Oh, Ron. So wait, there's a ghoul in the attic that we've got to deal with? I know the memory card's full game, you've told me this before. I'm just going to use the old save state Arunio. And, uh, isn't it weird without any music? Ah, there's music now, at least. Wow, these graphics are amazing. Oh, wow. This is going to be a whole different kettle of fish from the PS2 game. Chickens! Oh my god, they haven't improved the faces. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. I think on, it's Harry. brilliant. If the goal is not the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. Can you not just magic it open? Oh! Oh, the old PS1 music. Yeah, let's play some 
attics in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the X button to cast. <laughs> okay, all four polygons that are on. Wow. This is actually... I mean, I did play the PS1 version of the first game, but... Try and flipendo these crates with your knockback Yeah, alright, Ron. Remember, press the X button to cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to do the flipendo. I'm just... I need to accustom myself to this freaking these graphics again, man. This is kind of making my eyes go funny. Nintendo. Yes, he says it. He freaking says it. it Harry. Now the other one. Now the other one. Yay! Oh, the burrow. Oh, and camera's spazzing out already. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes. Yeah, you've said this. Oh Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. <laughs> you've told Watch me this before. And then follow. To climb onto a crate, walk up to it and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Ron. That's quite a jump though. Oh, nice one. Bloody hell. Okay. Your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top, and then run over the gap to auto jump. Auto jump for the win. <clears throat> right. Can I hit the chickens? Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> so, is this game going to have horrific mini games as well, like the first one did? Oh, wow. Yeah. This is. This is something. At least we don't have to bother about the fucking gnomes in this game. Or at least, not in this bit. Alright, let's let's, uh, let's join Ron on the roof. Do a bit of hardcore parkour. Yeah! Oh, come on, Harry, you bloody fuzzy tit biscuit. Fuck that up, didn't you? Alright, how do I... Alright, the right... St okay, there we go. There's a good lad. Right, how are we going to kill this ghoul? I don't know. I know the fucking... Oh, I shouldn't have told it to also save. It's going to tell me that every single fucking time. God damn it. Right, we need Ugh. to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and he's driving my mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible... Oh, run. no. Right, Harry, let's get to it. Oh, shit. Fucking minigames already. Oh, God. Oh, I'm terrible at this. I missed it. Will you stop that awful ra- It's the fucking ghoul, Mum! Alright, we're trying to sort him out. Just chill. Pipe down! Ha! <laughs> Get it? Pipe down. That's the title of the video. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. We're getting the hang of this, chaps. Oh, fuck. I'm too impatient. Oh, look at all those pipes. Look at all those pipes. You know. I've often wanted to get this minigame done perfectly, but it's just a pipe dream, guys. I just don't think I can do it. In fact, we can afford to make tons of mistakes in this. I mean, we shouldn't really want to, but we can do. Four left. Two, one. Boom. Why, Carrie? That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now I need you boys to denote the. Oh ghoul. no! Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about. Go find Mr. Magical Weasley. Why would you call him that? Why didn't you just? What? I mean, is she, is she directly talking to Harry there and not Ron? Because then that would make sense. But no, I don't want to denome. Oh no. Huh. <laughs> I made that joke in my uh, 
other Let's Play of this. Oh well. Um, well, not this, but you know what I mean. The PS2 version. Uh, right. Let's go find Dad. Yeah, let's go find Mr. Weasley. Old Arthur. That is his name, isn't it? Arthur Weasley? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, I just like the fact that the music's all amazing still. That's great. That's one thing I think they nailed with these games, is the music. Definitely not the facial animations, the music. Right. Oh, camera. Use the door, use the door, yes. It's a gate, but we'll call it a door. Right, how do we do this in this one? Gotta throw him in the barrels? Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx, so we can get through the gate. Okay. Everything in this house... in Everything in, in Molly's life must drive her mad, apparently. Alright. Flipendo! Flipendo! Oh, what's that? We got our first bean, guys! It's been too long. Uh, oh, it's such happy music as well. We're just randomly breaking property. It's great. Vandalism! Why do these beans look so weird? Why have they got, like, different patterns on them? Yeah, what the fuck is all that about? It looks like a humbug. Can I hit Ron? Can I... Can I target Ron? No, stop it. Aww. Game's already trying to ruin my fun. Nice casting, Harry. Come on, let's go and find Dad. Yeah, yeah. let's go find whatever. He, what, yeah, what's he up to? What's he doing? Nobody knows, guys. Nobody knows what he's doing. Oh my god. I really wish I could turn off the auto save thing now. <laughs> I didn't think my memory card would be full. I need to make another one. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat? Oh, her? God. She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. Hubba hubba. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. I'm saying that because I she, she's Harry's future wife. I'm not attracted to young children. Calm your tits. Oh, it's those puff, puff things again. What were they called? Puffer pods. I'm Ginny. Hello. I'm just looking after a puff game. Making oh, puff sure Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puff game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. Why, why is the beans in a bush? Oh, I get it. If oh, that's rude. That's rude. Bushes, it'll eat them. And you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Oh! Where do you get a wizard card? It is put into your folio magi. Press folio the magi. Button. This will show you the folio magi and the okay. wizard cards you've collected at that point. Alrighty. Plate. Can I just get on there and do it now? Types of famous witches and wizards cards: the silver cards and the four special gold founder cards. Four special founder cards, eh? Ooh. So we gotta we gotta trim some bushes, guys. We gotta trim some bush. Let's uh Hello! Oh, these things are adorable. Come over here, buddy. Come into the bushes with me. I won't hurt you. Where's he where's he fucking gone? Oh you. I didn't tell you to eat that one. That's it, munch, munch, munch. You fat bastard. Who ate all the pies? Where are the bushes? This guy did. He's huge, man, now. Look at the size of him. So many bushes, so little time. Look at the detailed texture on that sky. That is amazing. Well done, Harry. Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card. Thanks. Felix Somerby. Oh, we get... Yes, he says the names of them. Best find Bron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Can I not eat more bushes? Or is he full? Oh, you. I want you to eat more bushes. I want more beans, goddammit.
Yep, there you go. Keep on eating. Keep on eating. We've got 14 beans. Like a spotty bean. That is a disgusting sound, though. That really is horrific. Come on. Only last three now. You can do it. Where's he gone? Oi! No bed. Come back. Eat the rest. There you go. Come on now. Don't have all fucking day. No, gnomes have probably taken over the whole fucking world by this point. Be bloody Gnomageddon. Which is a very obvious joke, and I'm sure millions of people have made it before. And in fact, I know they have. Here, Harry. See you later. Yeah, see you, Ginny. See you, Ginny. Why is she, like, taller than me? Anyway. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. Hello. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. No, just I'm not. Kid, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Fuck's sake. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Huh. Use your directional buttons to move the junk about, and press the triangle button to drop it onto the rocks and break the junk up. So, could you charm them and drop them onto the rocks, please? Oh yes. Maybe we can find those gloves. I know I left them around here somewhere. Oh, you silly Billy. Yes, we will. Uh, so we've actually remembered like more than one spell, dude. Remember, Harry, it's just like the charms class last year. Better find the denoming gloves. We can't denome without them. Lift up the crates and then drop them on the rocks below. Yeah, your dad's just fucking told me to do that. Is that an old TV? Wingardium Leviosa! Yeah! Leviosa, Harry. Leviosa. Bop. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, I'm supposed I to press triangle. I need to drop the higher than that if I want to break it. Fuck's sake, Harry. All right, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Wingardium Leviosa. All right. Bop. Smash. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Yeah, break all the things, Harry. Break all of my things. Wingardium Leviosa. It's gonna be the last one, isn't it? It's gonna be the last one that we do. Wow. That's right, Harry. Keep going. Can I drop him on him? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try. Wingardium Leviosa. Just over. Oh, we barely stubbed his toe with that one. God damn it. Oh, we're too far away now. Did we just kill a chicken? Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Okay. Oh, that music. Yes. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. Mm. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. <sighs> He's always tired. I love it. Oh, anyway, is there anything around here that we can grab before I do go in there? Well, apart from, like, the possessed washing machines and the ghouls in the attic. And the gnomes fucking around in the garden all the time. Imagine trying to sunbathe. Just ain't gonna happen. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's no magical junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run up. Ugh. Hit the square button as quick as you can to build up speed. Once you reach the fence, you begin spinning on the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the target. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, so it is kind of similar to the PS2 one. Alright, tap the button to spin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Press the trigger. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, they've got the same noises as well. Don't worry, I'll get that one, Harry. Yeah, please do. Fuck that one up, didn't I? Well, fuck that one up, didn't I? Alright. And boom! Yes, look at that, beautiful. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> Phone jokes. Okay. Plus 100. Beautiful. Beautiful. 166. We'll take that. Alright, so we want to go for the car, possibly, or the nest? I don't really know. We'll be lucky to get it into the fucking field, to be honest. Oh, not quite. Just in the middle. Fucking hell, nearly went out the other side. Well, if we get two more of them, we'll uh, get the high the high score. High score? What is, I'd love to know what the gnomes are saying. Can we throw a gnome at Ron? That'd be great. Oh, that's the... Oh, oh come on! <laughs> so close. I mean, unless we really fuck this last one up. We're getting the high score. It's just I'd like to hit the car or something. And skaboosh! Oh, same place again. 100 that time. Wow! Brilliant! Excellent, Harry. That's your all-time highest score. Fucking too right. Really good fun. Do you want to play again? Hell no. Oh god, please, stop reminding me I can't fucking save the game. Hello there. Fancy a wizard jewel? A That's wizard random. Jewel? Don't tell me you've never taken part in a wizard jewel. You've got a lot to learn, Harry. Is this safe? Nope. Of course it's safe. Um, well, mostly. Definitely not. Of course we've had wizard jewels. We've had them in the first game. Of course we have. The Burrow Dueling Dueling Arena. I love all the random shit line about the place. It's great. There's that goddamn washing machine. Alright, so what do we do here? Expelliarmus. Okay. Dueling is really simple. All you have to do is try and hit your opponent with the knockback jinx. Every time you hit your opponent, you get closer to disarming him. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, fully charged knockback jinxes can be cast by holding the X button down and then releasing <laughs> it. But don't worry, Harry. Fred will go easy on you this time. Do you want to be okay? standing right near Let's that washing duel. machine, George? Probably not a great idea. Get ready! Get ready! Duel. Duel! Du 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 duel! Oh, you dick. Fred Weasley's a master tactician. Great work there. This is really fucking hard to dodge him. Great play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Yes. Ow! 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 Oh, you dodged me, you little bitch. Take that. Shove that up your ass. Oh. You can do it! Well played, How is he not dead yet? Ow. Well done, Harry. You won the first round. Oh, it's best of three, is it? Okay. Get At the ready. Dick. George, your commentary sucks. It's even worse than mine, and that is saying something. You stay still. Haha, -ha, that was a nice hit. He's got his work cut out now. Oh, 
Fucking have that. Oh, what a hit. Ow. Oh no. And, oh, he's, come on, he's only nearly dead. Fuck off. How is he still alive? And what are we doing now? Oh. That wasn't Expelliarmus. <laughs> well done, Harry. Now let's try again. But this time we'll introduce some special jinx. Oh god, what now? Good idea, Fred. Good idea, Fred. See the way it's sparkling? That means it's got a special jinx in it. Hey? To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. How are we going to do that? Release an orb that you can run over and pick up. Anything that sparkles like the TV has got a special jinx in it. So remember to look out for the sparkles. Fucking oh, hell. Is this Twilight? Special jinxes can only be cast using the circle button. That's important. Come on, let's give it a try. Okay. Circle. Get ready. I can do circle. I can press circle. Go on, hit the TV. Oh, I can move forward. I didn't even realize. I'm an idiot. There we go. All right, got the thing. Special jinx time. We missed. No, it isn't. Shit. Hit the TV, you bastard. There we go. I'm really losing this now. Ooh! I really don't see the point of the special jinxes. They don't do that much more than the normal flipendo. Ow! Okay, that one did. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Hit the TV. There we go. There we go. How did that miss? Well, it didn't miss. I think it did technically. Oh, we're dead. Oh, I fucking ate the jewel already. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even bothered with the special drinks on it, it seems... Ow. I'm just gonna rapid fire and hope for the best. It's really hard to dodge him. Holy fuck! Come on, hit the TV. Hit the TV! Thank you! Oh. I'm my word! <laughs> I'm so gonna die! This is the beginning jewelry bit, it shouldn't be this hard, man! Stop standing behind the fucking signal! Beautiful play by Weasley. Great work there. Oh, that was a nice one. Shame it fucking missed with all three of them. I mean at least he can't hit me here, yeah? but. Have that. Oh yes, come on, we can do this. Nearly got him. Nearly got the bastard. Hit the TV. Thank you. Oh you bitch. Oh, you son of a cock. Oh, you dodging bastard. I'm gonna beat you to death with a toilet. Fuck you, man. Why is he dodging them all? Oh, fuck off. That was so close. No way, man. Do you want to duel again? Not really, no, but yes, we'll beat him. We'll fucking do it. I have to start from round one. A bunch of fucking cock biscuits. I'm trying, Ron, man. It's your brother. He's an obed. He's a proper fucking beautiful play by Weasley. Ass bitch. Oh, this is getting silly now. Have three of them. Yes. Oh, fuck off. How did you dodge them? Have that. Yeah, Flipendo's just the way to kill, man. Ow. He should have died. He, what the? Fuck Fred. Just fuck him. All right, we gotta pull this back now. Ah, oh, see, that shouldn't have hit that. That's that's a lot of baloney. Can we not get heat-seeking flipendo, please? There we go. Oh, you lucky son of a cock. Doing all right. Doing all right. Doing all right. Getting the dodging down now. Getting the dodging down. That. We're pulling this back, guys. We're pulling it back. Well played, Harry. Well played. Brilliant. Ah, oh, fucking mastered this now, guys. Mastered it. Oh, See that he should have died there. That was a proper hefty hit. Oh, oh boy, this is so tense. I'm ready. I was born ready. Good start. Good start. Shit. 
Colossal load of bullshit. Oh, you cock. We can't, we can't let it slip now. Oh! Scary! How did that noise do? Stop dodging at the last second, you bitch. Stop hitting the fucking scenery, Harry. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I just did it. Just did it. That was close. That was too close. Whoa. The hell? Wow, look at that. You're a natural, Harry. Not really. Do I want to duel again? Fuck no. Yes, I know I can't save. Ugh.